I've come through to the big room, MV3, and I'm with Kelly of Block Party. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm very good. Thank you very much. I didn't realise that when we were playing that old session track of yours, out, it was playing here on the PA. Yes, yes it was. <laughs> a, a, a trip down mem memory lane for me. Yeah, how was it? It was good. I mean, uh, you know, I, I was saying it's always slightly um, uncomfortable listening back to uh, live performances. Um, but yeah, it was good. I felt it had spirit and it was very, it was slightly emotional take because it was the first time we ever did any kind of uh, radio session. So that was, it brought back a lot of fun memories. And where did you record that? Would that have been here or was that in one of the other studios? Um, we recorded it in the studio next door with the right. balcony. Okay. Um, uh, MV5. MV5. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I've just, I like, it's literally taken me 20 years of being in this <laughs> building on and off to work out because it is, it's like Yellow Submarine, you know, that bit of the corridor where you open it and there's like the symphony orchestra and then a massive fish or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that is MV5. So, Boom. I mean, it's funny, isn't it? It's an in really interesting time for you guys because a few things going on. Yes. Obviously, the new record. Yes. But, so you're kind of looking back and forward at the same time because there's, there's an anniversary to celebrate. You know, it's, it's 10 years since Silent Alarm and, and mm. I suppose since everything changed. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, to be honest, I'm not really spending any time looking back. Or, you know, I didn't know that it was, I didn't know that it was a 10 year anniversary of, of Silent Alarm. That's not something that, you know, that's not something that I was kind of aware of. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still, luckily, I'm still motivated. We're also motivated um, to make new music and to look forward. So that's you're not a nostalgic person. Not really. I, n I never have been. You know, as soon as the door closes, it's closed for me. So okay. So in that case, tell me about about the future and about this new setup for Block Party and yeah. the new record. I mean, let's start with the band. I, yeah. know, I know you guys have kind of been together in your present incarnation for a little while. Now, yeah, right? for um, I guess for a few months. We we finished making the record and then we met Louise. Um, She's drumming. Yeah, she's drumming for us, yeah. yeah, Louise Bartle, and we've been kind of rehearsing. And we did a we did one set of shows in uh, the states in, in LA, but this is our first UK, I guess, performance. So Fantastic. yeah. And the last UK gig was Latitude 2013, wasn't yes, it? Yes. So what was the plan after that? Did you know that would be the last one for a while, or? Yeah, I I I, I, I had a feeling that some things were going to change after that show. In fact, um, we had a <laughs> we had like an incident on stage at the show so I really so it's that show was quite emotional for us for certain reasons oh, wow. um but uh I don't know what am I saying I'm saying that yeah I knew we were going to take a break yeah after the show what so can you tell me what happened or no it's just you know things come to a head don't they yeah you know? and you knew it was something had to give yeah I knew, I knew that I knew I knew that something had to give but and something did give shortly afterwards so Okay, so in that case, tell me about the new record. I know it took a couple of months to make and that there are guests on it and uh, there's a lot of mystery. Uh, uh, aside from that, I don't know much. What can you tell me? Uh, what can I tell you about the record? Um, I can tell you that I'm very proud of it. I can tell you that it's the record I think I'm most proud of. Um, and I can tell you that it was... I don't know, what can I tell you without giving the <laughs> game away? I, I can tell you that it's... Uh, you know, it's it's like a, it's like the logical next step, I think, from where we were. So. Okay, I, I read a quote from you that you said um, for the first time you thought that it sounded like you and not like anybody else. Like you sounded like Block Party rather than you know, yeah, you aiming to to sound like. Yeah, I mean, else. I think you know, in the past there was a lot of you know we're big music fans and you know we've always been honest about you know where we take our influences from. Um, and I feel that's in the past maybe maybe bled into the music. Um, uh, you know, I feel that it's maybe bled into the music kind of directly. But I, with this record, you know, I didn't, I wasn't listening to anything else okay. other than just the demos. You know, I spent for, and and actually still now I've I've kind of switched off a lot from modern music. Right. Um, you know, it, it it became very insular whilst we were recording the record. It was really just about the four of us in a room and seeing where everything was going to go. So, um, in that respect, I feel like it's the most maybe honest record that we've made. And what about the fact that you've been spending so much time DJing? Because obviously, mm. you know, you made two solo albums yes. since the last Block Party record, which was fantastic. But I, I know that you kind of felt like you got to see music in action a bit more when you're playing out in clubs and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I think. I think you know. I think all all of those experiences, DJing, kind of making the solo records, have definitely influenced how I hear hear music now. You know, in fact, the only place I really ever get to see music in action now is in clubs. Yeah. Um, so I guess it maybe has affected how I 
hear music and how I want to make music. Um, but I was also conscious with making this record um, that it needed to feel like it was, you know, it wasn't just my input. There were four other musicians that were bringing stuff to the table. And I think that's the, that's the amazing thing about being in a band is that it's a collaboration and you don't know what other people are listening to or, or where they're going to take stuff, but that's the fun of it. So, And I know collaboration's been kind of a recurring theme in, mm. in, in your recent work and something that you're really interested in and, and want to keep going. Mm. Why, why is that? What is it about that that you enjoy? Uh, well, I guess, <clears throat> you know, well, uh, I think the most rewarding thing about collaborating for me is that you get to see other perspectives you know you get to you know your 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 horizons become broadened when you work with other people it's you know you learn stuff every time i work with a musician that i i don't know anything about it, it gives me a different view on on music and I just want to keep learning, really. It's just it's just that simple. Okay. And what about the, the set today? I mean, you've got a UK tour coming up, so this yes. is probably quite a good opportunity to, to kind of practice for that. And uh, what, have we got, what have we got in store for us? What can you tell me? Yeah, I mean, um, it's weird. We did, as I said, we did some shows in LA like a, mm -hmm. few, like a month ago, and I was, you know, and it was fun. But to me, it felt like there wasn't really any point in us, in us revisiting the past. I felt... You know, I hope now with this show that we're doing today, we have to play some new material so people can see where we're at right now. You know, there's no point kind of trotting the hits out. It's it's about um, showing that we're here and we're current and we're alive. So, so yeah, there's going to be a mix. There's going to be some old stuff and some new stuff. Fantastic. Really excited about that. And is it right that there's going to be a new song dropping somewhere or other tonight? Because I have heard a rumour about this. Uh, yes, your, your sources are correct. Good. Um, Excellent. There's going to be a... Uh, there's going to be another one from the Hit Factory uh, <laughs> uh, uh, premiering tonight, I think, somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah. So keep keep your. And is uh, that one of the ones with the collaborations stuff. on it? Because no, I've... it's just okay. that's straight straight up us, straight up block party. Because um, you know, uh, you know, because we what we do, we do quite well. So it's nice to be able to put that out there as well. Just for sure. just us. Absolutely. Well, we're <laughs> delighted to have you with us today. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thanks for having me, Lauren. Going to let you get on and uh, get ready for the set. Call All right. Block party. The the gig kicks off just after twelve o'clock right here on Six Music.